This story is called Idil and it follows on from the fisherman. The heat more terrible than I can describe. We sailed into a small cove far to the south, a cove nestled on the coastline of far off Senegal. We went ashore, slung hammocks in the trees, built a fire on the beach and cooked up some langoustines. I can still taste their meat now, all juicy and tender, a hint of coconut and spice. That cove was idyllic, a paradise known only to one who has courted the sea. Close my eyes and I can see the shadows thrown by the palm fronds in the late afternoon and I can hear the sound of the birds chirruping in the heat. As the evening approached, we sat round and shared stories, stories of our travels and of our lives. I remember it, clear as I'm here with you now. The man beside me was a Spaniard. His name was Alfonso. He had one of those faces you never really forget. Hollow features and an expression bakes through from ordeal and tribulation. Drawing a little on his pipe, he stooped forwards and stoked the fire for a moment, his eyes lost in memory. I will tell you a tale, he said softly, a tale of another time when I was not a sailor but an apprentice to a master binder in Toledo. The binder was the greatest craftsman of his age, from a family of ancestral bookbinders to royalty no less. Clients would arrive at his workshop from across Spain. Sometimes they even came from France and beyond. And it was a Frenchman, a French writer from Troy, with whom this tale is concerned. <laughs>